We're at the South County Library in Deal with storyteller Kathy McMillan, who uses sign language to communicate her stories for both those who can't hear as well as those who can. McMillan, who is not hearing impaired, got her start working at the Maryland School for the Deaf in Baltimore. So I was off for the summers, so you know I'd always done story times, and then I kind of put the sign language together. Oh, that's with great. It, so. The program is one of McMillan's own creation. She does a little storytelling, gets the children to sing along with a few songs, then teaches the children some sign language through audience participation. Here she's asking kids what they want to be when they grow up. Is that a great time? Come right here. A cop, okay. Big letter C? Put it right here like you got a badge. That's a police officer. For one Lothian family, the program was especially timely. Laura McKenzie is losing her hearing and has been working with a personal sign language tutor so that she and her son Aiden, five, can communicate with one another. I'm starting to teach him because eventually I'm not going to be able to show him. Oh, the cat. Excellent. McMillan has already presented her program at library branches in Edgewater and South County. The reading program carries on with a magic show by Joe Romano on July 23rd and 25th and a puppet show if pigs could fly on July 17th and 19th by the Blue Sky Puppet Field. What'd you learn? We learned lion. Let's see, let me see, show me what lion is. Oh, very nice. And what's sleep? Remember sleep? Very good. All right, well, thank you. There's no cost to any of the library programs. They're presented as a way to keep children reading through the summer months off from school. This is Mitchell Stevenson for the South River Source.